see down there? I see that fish is a long fish. It is a long fish. In our last few videos, we've been camping in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, culminating in a tour of the ghost town. In today's video, we are heading to a couple of popular locations in the UP, Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore and Kitchity Kippy. Got everything? Yes, I am. I'm kind of. Yeah, this is nice. This will be nice. The picnic table is a little on the rough side, but I might just stand and eat. Okay. Little fake vegan cheese, cucumber, red pepper, onions, lettuce, and a tortilla. Lunch of kings, I guess, right? It's one of our staples. And then hummus and carrots afterwards. We're back in the car. Yeah, uh, we retreated to the car because our picnic table by the beautiful South Bay was freezing. <laughs> yeah, there was a very cold north wind coming off the water, which you only really feel right by the water, but right. it was it was too chilly to eat. So we we're back in the parking lot in our car and we're going to finish eating here. And yeah. then we'll go get in line for the... Right. And we're also going to change clothes because we feel like our shorts and short sleeve shirts might not quite do the job. Right. I mean, this is a bay off of Lake Superior and right. the, the wind felt like it was coming from Lake Superior. So it's colder than it was down where we've been staying at Fayette. Right, right. We should probably tell them what we're doing. Really? <laughs> and where we are, what's South Bay, what's that? We're in Munising. We yes. just drove about an hour and 15 minutes, almost directly north mm -hmm. of Garden and Fayette Historical State Park to get to Munising where Pictured Rock National Lakeshore is. Yeah. And we're going to be heading out on a boat cruise. Yeah, we're going to take the boat cruise and go see the Pictured Rocks and see what we see. And it'll be fun. Yeah. Yep. And we have a few other things we might check out while we're in Munising as well today. So stay tuned. We're in line for the boat. Lots of people here waiting in line. Uh, one of the things is uh, on the trip out, all the points of interest will be on our right side. We'll slow down and talk about them. It takes about an hour to get to the last point of interest and then just turn around and take the same route on the way back so everything will be on our left side on the way back. And we'll slow down and talk about points of interest so both sides uh, work just as well. Sure. Rocks was established in 1966 as the very first of four national lakeshores. It is located near Munising and contains over 73,000 acres. It's an incredibly diverse natural area with 42 species of mammals, 179 different bird species, and many other types of animal and plant life. Oh, and don't forget the insects. There are plenty of those as well. Oh wow. Look over the side, you see down at the bottom of the goat. 
water depth okay, is 18 here. feet, and the boat draws a That feet. is an awesome picture. Now, to the right, uh, Battleship Road. That point ahead of us to the left, midway up, you see the blues and greens of us, that copper. Even camping, there's uh, driving campgrounds. We're at the turnaround point. <laughs> now we get to see the... You get the close-up seats? Yeah. The far point, Osalvo Point, has a lighthouse you can hike to. And the park is town to Grand Marais. Grand Marais. Connected all by a highway called H58. It was a stone archway uh, supporting the... It's uh, awfully bright now, too. Yeah. <laughs> Richard Rocks has over 42 miles of coastline along Lake Superior, which has carved the 200-foot-tall sandstone cliffs into some amazing shapes. The rock has been colored with mineral stains as groundwater seeps through the cracks. Iron leaves red and orange streaks. Copper creates the blue and green areas, while manganese leaves the brown and black colors behind. In the 1800s and early 1900s, the only trails in the area were from loggers who would drag their logs to the cliffs and send them down a large chute over the Grand Sable Sand Dunes to Lake Superior. Now there are 111 miles of hiking trails, and visitors can stand at that very spot called the Log Slide Overlook near Grand Marais. Visitors can hike the beautiful trails, take boat tours like we did, or kayak along the shores. Just be careful if you decide to kayak. Erosion does cause sections of the cliff to collapse on a regular basis. saw that. We did. It looked <laughs> exactly like that too. Did. So where are we right now? <laughs> if I can reach it, we're right there. Okay. And where we wanna... are the, oh, Munising Falls. Right there. It's yeah. really close. Right. And then there's Miners Falls. Yeah. And Chapel Falls. Kind of seems like we did all of those last time we were here. I only remember one, but that's not saying that's the truth. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I remember two to three, because I remember having to take a detour to get to at least one or two of them. Short hike. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't realize, I don't remember that. What? Well, they, it was a site of a blast furnace. They manufactured pig iron for about 10 years back in the mid 1600s. 1600s? I'm sorry, 1800s. 1860s. Holy moly. Sorry, 1860s. I got my. I goofed. That's okay. Let's go. A nice little scenic hike. Shaded. Shady, yeah, very shady, and and it's paved trail or boardwalk, one of the two. Right. And so yeah. So far, so good. Yep. Oh, it's a big step. Uh, this doesn't go very far. So if you get to the normal observation area and it's really loud and a lot of people, take one of the staircases and go up a little higher and it'll be peaceful. Yeah. Steve, nobody wants to climb stuff. Yeah, you got this house very tall. <laughs> and I like this view better. Yeah, it's nice. There's, water. There's more water falling now than the last time we were here. It was kind of a trickle last time. Really? I don't remember. I just remember yeah. walking the paths and stuff. Yep. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. So it looks like, if you look that way, 
it looks like either you used to be able to go that way and they closed it or people yeah. just did it and they're saying don't do it. Right. There's a up here. Cool. That's, I don't know, I think that that is considered a cave. It feels deep enough. <gasps> kind of cool. I mean, you could shelter under the, shelter, shelter yourself from the rain in there. So. Yeah. Well, this is even prettier on this side. It is. It's a better view. You know, the harder you have to work to see something, the more yeah. payoff there normally is at the end. <laughs> time to visit one waterfall and to take a boat tour of part of the shoreline on this trip, but we'll be back for a more in-depth visit in 2022. We can't wait. We are visiting Kitchity Kippy, which is just northwest of Manistique in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. A good job. <laughs> now, Kitchity Kippy is a very large, I think it's the largest natural spring, at least in Michigan, if not the United States. Yeah, we need to look that up We're, and we can, yeah, we, you know, verify what that is. It's largeness. Yeah. It's yeah. actually inside of Palm Book State Park, which I didn't know until we got here. Right. And there's a whole bunch of people that are waiting for the bathrooms and it looks like maybe a gift shop, ice cream shop, but we haven't made it to the spring yet. So we'll see what that's like. Yep. I think there's supposed to be a type of platform that you can ride out to get to the middle of the spring and look down and it's super clear, but we will see we'll if that's really what it is or not. Yeah, we'll find out. It was about a 40 minute drive to here from Fayette State Park where we're, where we're camping this week. So it's not too far away. Closer than Pictured Rocks where we were yesterday. Right. So. Yeah, let's check this out. Yeah, let's do it. You can already see it through the woods. Take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints. Looks like there's a line for the boat. Oh, that. Oh, I'm sure. That's the boat thing. That's the boat thing, yeah. Raft load limit, 5,038 to 40 people. My goodness. Oh. Oh, and there's a line right, for, the, run? for the boat. One more. Kichiti Kippi, which means Big Cold Spring in Ojibwa, is a beautiful natural resource. The water is crystal clear and it remains a nearly constant temperature of 45 degrees year round, meaning it rarely freezes in the winter. Visitors ride a manually propelled raft across the spring and get to look through the 10,000 gallons of water to the limestone base which is 40 feet below. Because the water is so clear, you can see the water bubbling up from the spring and can watch as fish swim underneath the raft. We recommend visiting right away when they open because it's a popular destination and lines do form waiting for the raft. The next time we go, we'd like to visit in the winter because it would be pretty amazing to experience the spring when the beautiful teal water is surrounded by snow-covered banks. Oh, there's a sulfur smell. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit. You can, I mean, they said something about there's a high sulfur content in the water with the springs coming up and stuff, and I yeah. didn't smell it out on the boat at all, but I just right got here. a tiny whiff 
I can still smell You're it. Walking by. Yeah. yeah. Kichiki Kippi is an Ojibwa word that means big spring. I was trying to figure out when this, when people started actually coming here for tourism. It looks like in 1928, PJ Hoffmaster, who is the superintendent of state parks, um, made it into a state park and said that they wouldn't do any improvements that would detract from the beauty, the natural beauty. Um, so that's cool. And then obviously all Michigan state parks definitely benefited from the Civilian Conservation Corps because they are the ones that built the raft and everything to take people across. You saw what it looked like now. Take a look at what it looked like in the 1800s. There's a teeny tiny little raft. <laughs> And then it gets a little bigger and a little bit bigger. This is 1910 and there's, looks kind of looks like a canoe pulling it maybe. <laughs> so anyway, that's pretty interesting. It's been around for a while. Michigan's Upper Peninsula is full of natural wonders and beauty. We've only been able to show you a glimpse of a couple of them in this video. There is so much more to see and do, and we're looking forward to showing you as much as we can in the future. Our time is winding down for now at Fayette State Park. But before we leave, Michelle and I are gonna do something we've never done before. We're going kayaking. If you wanna see a couple of noobs in kayaks, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when it comes out. Thanks for watching, and until next time, Go out and live your best life, one adventure at a time.